Okay, in the last video we did a um, flash tutorial on motion tweening and this time we're going to do shape tweening. So here's the difference. Um, first I'm going to say file, new. I'm going to get a new ActionScript 2.0 uh, file here. And so I'm in a new flash file, empty file. And shape tweening is a little bit different. When we do a motion tween, what we did was we had a we started with a circle and notice here when I make this circle um, it's a shape okay I, I like to make sure that I'm using when I have the shape tool um, I don't like using the object drawing mode if I do it in the object drawing mode automatically the circle has this um, grouped blue object it's a drawing object actually so if I select it you see this is a drawing object. It says up in the upper right hand corner drawing object. Whereas this this one, when I drew it, up in the right hand corner it says shape. Right? And so to control that when you have this tool, you either have this drawing object clicked on or off. So anyway, what I've done is I've started off with this shape here of a circle. And I double clicked on it, moved it. I'm going to use the transform tool and I'm going to scale it and then I'm going to click on the stroke, the outline, and I'm going to delete it. I'm going to go back to just the regular selection tool. Alright, so I have this circle, and it's a shape. It's not grouped. What I mean by grouped is, if I select it, modify, group, now it has a blue box. Modify, break apart, now it's just a shape. Also, I could select it and convert it to a symbol, like a movie clip, or a graphic or something like that, then it would also have this blue box around it. But it's just a shape. Okay, it's a vector circle. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'll say insert shape tween. Okay, last time we dealt with motion tweens and classic motion tweens, this time shape tween. So do shape tween and now um, changes the color of the keyframe. On frame 20 what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit F6 and now I have a keyframe on 20 and I have a shape tween from 1 to 20. So what can I do with that? Well on 20 one thing I can do is I can select the circle and I could change its color. And now it will morph and change colors gradually from red to green. So that's kind of cool. The other thing I could do is I could change this circle completely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it and I'll get the rectangle tool and I'll create a rectangle. All right, and then I'll delete the stroke, double click on the outline. Um, oops, it was a drawing object. See, I didn't want drawing objects. So I'm going to delete that and redo it. I don't want a drawing object. So I got my rectangle tool, turn off drawing object, and I'll draw a square. I will double click on the stroke, delete it, and now. I have a square here. So now if I play it you'll see that not only does it it morphs shapes from a circle to a square using the shape tween and it morphs the color. So that's kind of cool and people like that a lot. And then the other thing that you could do is I'll just um, delete this here. Um, let me remove these frames remove frames and then on the first frame I'll insert a keyframe. So I'm starting over here. What I'll do is I'll get the text tool and I've already uh, I've got a color here. I'll go to blue and I'm going to type the letter A. Okay, It's bold, aerial bold, 95 points, really big, letter A. And then I'm going to take this vector letter and I'm going to modify and break it apart. So now it's no longer text, it's just a shape. If I select it, it's a shape. And I will get my transform tool, make it larger. Okay, there it is. Right, and now what I can do is I could shape tween it into something else. So, for instance, um, on 20, I'll insert a blank keyframe and I'll say A is for apple. So on 20, I'm going to draw an apple. And so on 20, I'll just take the oval tool here. I'll say no stroke. I'll change the fill 
to red and I'll draw an ellipse and then what you can do is you can shape the ellipse into an apple so go like that and like that you can pull this down and then what I did was um, what you can do is get your paintbrush tool get the size of your brush and you can draw a stem also you can get your eraser and you can modify the shape of the object so that it seems more like an apple and you need a few, it helps if you have a little bit of a drawing background for this kind of thing but you can modify it and go back and paint and then you can select it select your shape and I will smooth it using the smooth button to smooth the shape out okay alright that looks good and then the last thing I'll do is paint a stem now on this keyframe 20 we have an apple on keyframe 1 we have an A A is for apple and what you can do is go to keyframe 1 and I'll say insert shape tween and so now if you play it it will actually morph shapes from an A into an apple. Now when it does it what's happening with this shape tween is the white is dominating and I'm not really liking the way the shape tween is happening. So what you could do is you could select the first keyframe and go to um, insert, no modify, shape add a shape hint. So I'm going to add a shape hint here's the A and I'm going to say I'm going to drag this shape hint this hint to this upper corner of the A and then on the second keyframe I'm going to say I want that corner to expand out to this corner of the apple and now when the animation happens it's going to change the look of the animation so now instead of turning white it actually morphs from an A to an apple and the shape hint which was under modify shape was add shape hint. You had to click on the first keyframe to activate that. If you want, you can add more shape hints. So I could right now I've clicked on the first keyframe, modify shape. I can add a second shape hint and a third shape hint. But I like what the animation is doing. Look how it came out on my previous file. Turn the there's the square to a circle. And then there's the A. Here I'll sh stop it here and show you. There's the A. To an apple. And that is shape tweening. Also, I wanted to let you know one object shape tweening uh, per layer is preferred, just like one object motion tweening per layer is the way to do things in Flash.